David Burling, Managing Director of 2UK uh, and Ireland. I've pretty much been in the industry uh, man and boy really. Um, I joined, um, I was a graduate from Loughborough University uh, in Management Science and joined Thomson Holliders as it was then uh, in 1990 as a marketing graduate trainee. So um, I've worked my way up through various roles in, in marketing and commercial. Uh, in the organisation uh, up to the position where I am now. Uh, it's worth saying the organisation changed an awful lot over those uh, 22 years, but uh, you know, I've enjoyed a lot of good roles and I've been very fortunate uh, in my career. My first job was um, I was product assistant uh, on a product called Young at Heart, uh, which was holidays for the over 55s, uh, which was quite a big market segment sort of back in the 1990s. Um, seemed very strange uh, being in, in, in that business, but uh, we grew the business quite a lot in the early days, but uh, unfortunately that product line got discontinued in the, in the late 1990s. 2E UK and Ireland um, is um, a big business, 3.6 billion turnover. Um, we operate uh, 62 aircraft to 88 different destinations in 30 countries. Um, we employ twelve and a half thousand people. Um, we uh, the business operates a multi-channel business, um, a travel agents, sort of call center, um, online business, and our third-party distribution. Um, just approaching forty-five percent of the business is now online, which has been a, a big uh, part of our strategy uh, over the past few years. Uh, but probably the major strategy within the company has been to develop unique and differentiated product lines. So um, we very much develop our own hotel products in conjunction with our hotel partners. And that's where most of the growth in the business has been in recent years. I think the, the trends we're getting is, is really customers wanting specific products. You know, they want specific um, products for their particular needs. So couples want hotels designed specifically for, for that couple's market. Families more and more, they want, they're ever more demanding in terms of the requirements. So, you know, we more and more have to design the hotels to the exact requirements of specific customer segments. So th that is a, a definite trend. Um, I think there's a trend towards uh, customers wanting all inclusive because uh, of the value for money it offers and they know exactly where they are with, with their budget. Particularly families, a big growth in, in the family all-inclusive market. Um, there's a demand for uh, different durations. At one time people either book one or two week holidays. Now more and more people want 10 and 11 night durations which is a, a real growth area for our business. Um, and the, there is you know, a trend definitely towards not just sort of booking holidays online, but researching the, the holidays online uh, and, and booking online, but also using mobile devices as well, tablets and mobile devices, not necessarily just to book the holiday, but once they've booked the holiday, adding extras to that holiday or when they're in destination, potentially using mobile apps to, to really you know, service their requirements while they're in the destination. So we're really seeing this sort of online trend move not just from the booking of the holiday but to the whole sort of service and I think one of the real trends in the industry at the moment um, which I'm very keen on is to try and get the best blend of personal service and technology to, to you know how can we combine the two you know we're, we're not a technology company you know we are a people service business but we need to get technology to enable us to get the best blend of both so we you know we are sort of personal but also we're offering state-of-the-art technology to back that up. There's always a lot of change in the travel industry. I think um, one of the things the, the industry has to keep doing is moving on and developing the product. Um, if you look at other industries, particularly the technology industry, the pace of change is, is unbelievable and I think in, in travel we need to keep you know, product development and innovation, whether it's in the hotel concepts themselves, you know, whether it's in, in you know, the aircraft that we serve or, or how we serve customers in our distribution outlets. I think we need to keep developing and innovating uh, in those areas because, you know, once customers are excited about a new way of, a new form of travel or what have you, you can really develop excitement in the industry. And I think the industry 
needs that. Um, I guess the challenges um, individual companies face, however, is you know technology presents opportunities, it also presents challenges. And I think, for me, one of the key things a lot of travel companies will face is how to blend the personal service and the technology together, um, you know, to get the best of both worlds and to get that blend uh, where we can sort of um, uh, enable things through, through better technology, but there's the personal service there as well. And I think that is going to be a challenge for a lot of companies um, you know, over the next few years. Yeah, the trend towards you know uh, what I would call mass customization, where you know customers want to personalise um, their their holiday in lots of different ways, and we need to be able to communicate to them in a personalised fashion. You know, once they get to the destination, we need to recognise their booking history. You know, and 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 that allows us to service that customer a lot better. And I think you know more and more. Our company and lots of other companies are going to have to develop in this fashion. And technology will insist the personal service. I don't think it will replace it because I think the travel industry, you know, is always going to be a, a service people business. I think what we see is the customers want specific, specific products for, for, for specific target markets. So, you know, if, if you're a couple's customer, you want a product, a hotel product that is designed for your requirements. If you're a family, you want you know, a hotel that's designed for the requirements of a, of a young family. So I think more and more what we're seeing is the sales are stronger, the more we can tailor the product towards specific customer requirements. So that's definitely a, a, a trend, which is really a trend in investing in product. You know, the more we invest in product, the more we, we, we see growth in sales. Um, customers also want flexibility. Um, we see there's more of a demand for uh, different durations. Uh, people don't just want seven and fourteen night holidays. Uh, the biggest growth we're seeing at the moment is for ten and eleven night durations. Um, there is a growth in people wanting all inclusive holidays, um, which I'm sure you're aware of. Um, last year we made the decision to make the first choice brand uh, solely concentrated on that all inclusive um, sector, and uh, I think that's important because customers are looking for value for money. And looking to know where the you know where the budget is, and I think all inclusive offers that. So again, that 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 is another growth area. And again, what I've already mentioned in terms of the online business, people are looking to be able to um, use their mobile devices in the destination to sort of uh, help tailor their holidays to to their exact needs. I think I think a real focus um, on on you know, future customer requirements would be, you know, um, what I would say, I and mean, that's quite a generic statement, but um, I think, you know, whether it's the hotel product that they experience in the destination, whether it's how we develop the distribution business and online capabilities, I think as an industry, we need to constantly have the customer at the forefront of our mind. You know, more product development, more innovation, you know, it adds excitement, you know, and, and at the end of the day, we're, we're competing for disposable expenditure against other, you know, people can buy a car, people can buy um, a new hi-fi system, what, whatever, and, and we're competing for, for, for that expenditure. And I think the more exciting and innovative we can develop, you know, our products and services, the more, you know, people will see travel as an exciting sector. And you know, I just look at the, the Dreamliner that, that we're doing at TUI and uh, the increase in demand we're getting, you know, with, with a new aircraft, a revolutionary new aircraft, is, is really exciting. You know, and I think, you know, we really can make a step change in long haul holidays with our products, and that's just one example of of, of the product development that can happen. And, and this can happen in all different parts of the industry. But I think, you know, really researching what the customer wants and, and, and you know and trying to fulfill that, you know, rather than just looking at what I would call trench warfare competing in, you know, for short term gains, you know, um, that is obviously important, but I think the industry keeps, needs to keep looking at those long term customer trends. From my own experience, um, I was very lucky in my career to sort of work for, you know, lots of different people in different functions very early on. 
And, and really, I think in the first sort of five to 10 years in the industry, I would say the main focus, you know, would be to sort of accelerate your learning, learn as much as you can, the steeper your learning curve, the better, learn as much as you can, look to see whether there's qualifications you can gain, work in different parts of the business, a big focus in TUI is to get people to move around different parts of the business. So if you work overseas, you can move and work in the head office or you can work in the distribution side of the business or you can work in the airline. And I think people who experience more different parts of the business have more to offer five to 10 years down the line. So I think um, really sort of try and accelerate your learning as much as possible. I go to many places. My favourite destination is probably Thailand, actually. Um, and uh, I have my honeymoon there. Um, so, uh, Krabi in Thailand um, is probably my favourite destination. Um, and, um, you know, is a destination, you know, that one day I would like to see uh, Tui fly into with, with the Dreamliner product. So, uh, um, at the moment, the existing aircraft can't fly that far, the 767 aircraft, but the Dreamliner will be able to, and I'm hoping that one day it will be able to announce sort of two uh, Thompson holidays to, to Thailand because I, I think it's a fantastic destination.